recording. Okay, I'll do it again. Just gotta get under 30, 30 minutes. At this point, I feel like I can. It just takes me like 10 tries at every like portion of this thing that I wanna do. Need to make it easier to edit anyways. Editing a 30 minute video is not super fun. Hi, so I'm Michael. I'm from the band Danger Scene. I'm going to be talking about our song, Never Lost My Love. I'm going to kind of deep dive into the song in just a second, but I'm going to give a little bit of background about who I am as a writer to start off, because I think it definitely helps explain this song a little bit. So as a writer, I like to write from my own perspective, sometimes almost solely, and sometimes I like to take a little pieces of my life, but kind of intertwine them to a, maybe a made up or created story. And then sometimes I like to write stuff that is completely made up and I'm trying to voice something for someone else. Grasp a concept or a feeling or an emotion that someone else has had, but maybe I haven't, and giving a voice to that. This song is definitely somewhere in the middle because it definitely pulls from my own personal experience, but it also is still a create, a, you know, essentially a fiction story. It's a created story. I wrote this song very much about my best friend. His nickname is Mendez. He moved in across the street from, from Matthew and I when we were really, really young, and we became really good friends really quickly. Um, we'd always be over there playing, you know, on the trampoline and, and having dinner with their family and then with ours and um, jamming in the basement. Later on, we formed our first band. Um, we started playing shows all over Kansas and we started getting our first success in music. Um, eventually, that led to us touring all across America, um, playing some big festivals and living in you know, our van and traveling and, you know, really getting to experience the crazy side of music, which has been, which was so much fun. But eventually, you know, um, we kind of, the band split up and Matthew and I went our own way and wanted to continue pursuing music as Danger Scene. And he had the calling to, he wanted to start a family. And we, so we both went our separate ways. Uh, we moved out to Nashville, he stayed in Kansas. And we went from seeing each other all the time, um, practicing, writing music together to you know, seeing each other maybe once a year um, when we were visiting Wichita or we were playing a show around there. And it was a big change. But um, at the same time, we were, I think that we were those type of friends that we knew that each other were gonna be okay. Like he knew I was gonna be good and I knew he was gonna be good. And if we needed each other, we could always reach out and that we'd always be there for each other. So with that in mind, let's dive into the song and the lyrics and some of the meaning behind our song, Never Lost My Love. So in the first verse, um, I'm telling this story of, you know, seeing a for sale sign in my friend's yard and asking like, hey, what's going on with this? And them kind of saying like, dude, where have you been? And then I like, follow it with the, the line, touche, touche, like, you're right, I haven't been here. Where, where have I been? Um, and then it follows with, you know, like, well, I've been making music, I've been making new friends, and I've been, you know, having life experience. And they're like, well, I thought we were friends and essentially saying like touche, like I, I get it, like I haven't been there for you. And essentially that verse is kind of saying like life's gotten really busy and I definitely haven't been there for you and I haven't been paying attention to what's going on, but also saying like, ooh, that's my bad, like I really dropped the ball on that. So when I got to the chorus, I wanted it to almost be an apology. Um, so the first lines are, you know, can we restart? Can we let this go? I know I wasn't here. But then I wanted to end it with this positive note of saying, hey, I never forgot our, our friendship. I never lost my love for you. I never, that never went anywhere. It just kind of got pushed to the side and I kind of like misplaced it, if you will. So the second verse kind of expands upon the first verse of saying, hey, I never lost my love. I can never forget those memories. I can never let those memories go. I can't forget the relationship. I can't forget the adventures and creativity and the music that we've made together. But I think I got messed up. I think I left some of the stuff I cared about behind. I think we've all done that. But then I still wanted to pull it back into the chorus and essentially say, I'm sorry. Ask for forgiveness, say, can we restart? Can you let this go? I know I wasn't there, but I've never lost that love for you. I've never changed, I've, even if I didn't show it. I know that our friendship and our relationship is still there. Um, so that's definitely where I always wanted the chorus to end up at. I think we all know that life gets crazy, life gets busy, and we're pulled in so many different directions. And this was just a song I wanted to create to essentially be a love note to my best friend or to a significant other, to somebody and say, hey, I know I haven't done my part, but I still care about you and I still value your friendship and who you are. I won't ever 
change. That won't ever change. So that's definitely what I wanted to get across in the song. One of the cool things about um, my friendship with Mendez is that I know that we're okay even though we don't ever see each other. Great example for that for me was, you know, out of, kind of out of nowhere, he texted me and said, hey, so I'm planning on getting married. Would you want to be one of my best men in my wedding? And I was like super excited. I was like, yes, absolutely tell me when I'm there. Like I'm ready to go. Um, it just reminded me that like we both knew that we were always going to be there for each other and that he, I was still considered one of the people that he wanted to be there with him as he went through one of his biggest life events. And it was really, really important to me and it really made me happy. It, it was, I was so excited to be there and a part of, you know, one of his big experiences in, in his life. Some friendships are meant to be stuff that you put a lot of time and effort into. And then some of them, I think like even mine and my best friends, I know that we're okay f being away from each other for longer periods of time and not maybe not connecting as much. So what we did with the music video was we kind of wanted to expand the idea of the lyrics and create this scenario where... It's fine. Is it still working? Yeah. Okay. You have 13 minutes. Okay, wow, feel like I've been for another 20. So when we created the music video, we wanted to have a story that was similar to the song. It's kind of pulling from it in a sense. So we had these best friends that you know got kind of pulled into different parts of their lives. You know, one of them moves away, one of them working on music, one of them gets into a new relationship, and how you can miss those connections that you're trying to have by a split second, whether it's a missed phone call or get pulled away by you know other friends into a birthday party or a music video shoot. But knowing that one action or one phone call or one idea can reconnect you. So I think I wrote this song in like 2017 and we recorded it in 2018, um, which kind of shows you how long it takes for us to be able to put music out and put it out in a way that we want to. Um, we love shooting music videos and visualizers and stuff because we want to show our creativity for what we're doing in different ways, not just writing a song and releasing it. I know a lot of people enjoy music differently. Um, I enjoy music from like the music aspect, so I could listen to a song and I could not tell you what any of the lyrics are, but I enjoy like the feeling of the of the music itself or the emotion of it. Um, where I know a lot of people enjoy music with the lyrical st like structure and like what it has in it and what it means and like what you're, they're saying and, and the emotion that goes behind that. And then some people appreciate music with the visual representation, which is music vi videos and stuff like that. So we try to create all those things because we want to be creative in different ways. We all like doing different things. So I hope you enjoy the song. I hope you enjoy the background and what the song meant to me when I wrote it. And uh, I'll see you guys later.